Welcome back to the channel guys. All right, so in uh, the previous video, I showed you how to diagnose if you had a bad injector on your 6.0. All right, so now we're going to be replacing that injector. I went in town, got it. And uh, the first part is going to be consisting of taking up the air box and everything out because that's the driver's side is what side it's on. And I, in a previous video, I showed how to do this. I'm gonna do a link to that up above right now to cut down on the length of this video. And once I get that taken down to, to the point that I did in the previous video, I'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, so with the air cleaner out of the way, eh, all the way to the turbo, um, you don't need to remove your uh, hot or your cold side charge pipe, but we're gonna get the Ficum out of there. That's gonna be 10 millimeters, at least on my truck, it's 10 millimeters on the front and it's 13 millimeters in the back. There's two and there's two. So we're gonna get that out of there. Um, we're gonna unplug the exhaust back pressure sensor um, and once I get those few things done, I will be right back. All right, so I'm gonna try to show this as best as possible. Um, it's kind of hard to do with one person, but there's three clips on the bottom of uh, your Ficum, and uh, you just the, the push side is on right there, that side, and you should be able to just get all three of them out. Um, be very careful, you don't wanna break that. Okay, so with the Ficum out of the way, you're going to want to get the brackets out of the way. Those are 10 millimeters, one down here, one up there, and then on the, the back bracket, you're going to have a 10 millimeter on the back side of the head and on the front side of the head. All right, so we'll get those out of the way, and then we will start working on getting some of the wiring out of the way. I'll be right back. Okay, so I disconnected my glow plug harness to get that out of the way. We have one more little 10 millimeter right here for your oil dipstick, and that'll help us get this uh, part of the loom out of the way. And then we will be taking um, the valve cover straight off. And uh, let me get that started and I'll be right back. All right, so I got the dipstick undone and moved out of the way. I got the loom put behind this engine hoist uh, brace. Um, I took the all the connectors that go underneath the ficum i lassoed those and i tied them over here to get them out of the way and now we're going to be getting out all of the valve cover bolts. but you're going to need a 12 deep all right so when you get all the valve cover uh bolts out i would suggest either taking a picture of where they go memorizing it or doing something like that right there being as in this is a reference of this side of the valve cover that's on this side and this being that side and then the front and back. It's a little way to know where to put them back. All right, so I'm gonna pull that valve cover off. Actually, I can probably just do it right this now. Yep, there we go. All right, valve cover off. Now we need to get that oil rail out or fuel rail, they call it. Um, that's gotta come out. And then the injector six is right here um, underneath, right there. I'll be right back. All right, so these little guys uh, that are holding this down are T30s, and it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them all the way across it. So we're gonna get those T30s out, and then we should be able to, and this is important, when you lift this, try to lift it as straight as possible because there's nipple cups on the bottom with O-rings, and if those O-rings go bad, then uh, the high pressure oil running through this will squirt down on the top of your inj new injector and screw that up too. I'll be back. All right, and before we pull this um, oil rail off, we need to get these dummy plugs out, the front one and the back one. If you have uh, the newer ones, they are the upgraded dummy plugs. It's going to be a hex bit size 12. It's a pretty big guy. If you've got the old ones, it's gonna be this littler 10 one. All right, so we gotta get those out real quick and then I will go ahead and get those T30s out and then we'll be able to lift that right up. Okay, so with the oil rail, fuel rail, whatever you wanna call it out of the way, um, you're gonna need to get the pigtail out of this aluminum uh, casing on top of the head and uh, that's done with an 18 millimeter. You just stick it down on top of it and it'll pop down, okay? Okay, and the injector is held in with one bolt and it is a T40. I've got it on a little extension. You can see my, where my finger's at. My finger's on top of that, uh, that Torx bolt. And that one bolt is what holds that injector in. Let me start working that out and we'll have the injector out in no time. Be right back. 
All right, so we got the injector out. It, it sits in the head like this, and this little piece is what holds it down. It's got a little notch on it right here, and then the injector has a notch that that connects for that corresponding connects down it's, and it tightens it down and holds it down all right so this is the old injector let's grab the new injector and uh make sure all the o-rings or everything are on it and we'll get that sucker put in be right back all right new injector looks good it's got all the o-rings on it the only thing is uh this little black tip that was on the tip of it you need to obviously take that off before you install it um but everything else looks good we're gonna go ahead and grab this joker put her back on there and then we're going to put everything back together in the reverse order and um, we'll see after I get everything put together if you know everything is working right and it should so I'll be back when all that's done all right here's a little pro tip for you guys um, instead of putting everything back together to test it and to see if it works just plug your Ficum in and then plug your uh, exhaust back pressure sensor in and then connect your coolant lines back to your degas bottle. You can leave the valve cover off and all that crap. It's going to take a second because you're going to have to reprime that oil rail. So it could take a couple of different times of cranking it over for 20 seconds, maybe two or three different times, um, but it'll eventually start. And uh, I just did that and I fixed my problem. It is completely fixed. There is no smoke coming out of the tailpipe. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and button everything back up and then I'll shoot a little video of the exhaust to show you that no smoke is coming out. But that's it guys. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you didn't, comment below and tell me how bad I suck. All right guys, so we got the injector in, we got everything put back together, and the smoking is gone. All right, so I'm gonna walk you around the truck to show you. It's gonna get a little bit loud. Obviously, diesels do that, so check it out. 